Hi guys, I'm Josh, and welcome to Josh for Tech. Today, I'm going to be talking about the basic things you need before you start to code. Firstly, you need a computer. So ask your mom, ask your dad for a computer, or borrow a computer from your mom or dad. The second thing we need on that computer is a browser. Now the browser helps you to view your codes because the browser is like the product of your code. What will happen? What happens when what you typed? What happens in the browser? So what happens when you type your code? So there are different types of browsers. There is Internet Explorer, Safari, Google Chrome, and there's also Opera Mini, but that one's not so popular. But the one I recommend is Google Chrome, Safari, and also Firefox, because those ones are good for web development. Now, the other thing we need is a text editor and an ID. Let me explain what a text editor and an ID is. A text editor and an ID. An ID is a senior or more intelligent one of text editor. Now the text editors are like Notepad, Notepad++, and those ones that are the IDs like Dreamweavers, Sublime, and Visual Studio Code. So they also helps you write your write your code so you can view them on a browser. Now we have talked. What are the programming languages we now need to start coding? Firstly, we need HTML, secondly, it's CSS, totally need JavaScript. Now, HTML is hypertext markup language. So HTML is like the raw model of your code. Then we can start talking about CSS. Cascading style sheet. So as you have from the name, it helps you to style your style your code. Then the fourth one, JavaScript. JavaScript helps to make your web page or whatever thing you're doing responsive. Like when you tap type something, when you like when you submit something, it just comes down and says you are registered, Joshua. So JavaScript is used to make your best response. So thank you for watching this video. And don't forget to subscribe and also leave a comment. Bye.